Hi, welcome to the Keto House. I'm April, and today I'm going to show you how to make fat head bread. I've had lots of requests for this for a while, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, so this is my very first cooking video, so be patient with me, but I think we're going to be okay. Um, our ingredients is going to be two and a half cups of mozzarella shredded cheese, two ounces of cream cheese, two eggs, one and a half cups of almond flour blanched, and one tablespoon of baking powder. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put two and a half cups of mozzarella cheese into my mozzarella cheese bowl. I buy these bowls just for my fathead bread. It is absolutely annoying to try to melt this in a regular bowl because it takes forever to clean it out and um, it sticks to it. It's just not worth it. Okay, two and a half cups and then Two ounces of cream cheese. <laughs> I'm coming back over here. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. Join me. Okay. So I'm going to put this in for a minute and a half. This was my towel. <laughs> this was my towel. Okay. So our next step will be I put two eggs. In the mixer and you don't have to do this a lot of people just need it by hand but I just I like to do it this way I've always done it this way okay 45 seconds babe any questions you want to ask me while we're waiting what was it like the first time you made keto bread? It was perfect. It came out perfect the very first batch. This is literally a no-fail bread. That was a good question. Thank Next you. question. Um, what is your favorite thing to use keto bread with? Cheeseburgers. Um, I like to use it for like my buffalo chicken dip and my spinach dip. Oh, or when we wrap our um, sausage links inside of it. That's pretty amazing. Um, what else do you like? What do you like it best for? Or just like, dipped in butter? I like burgers Warm. dipped in butter. Um, um, is it difficult to use it to make the calzones you make with it? A little bit. Uh, I made a taco calzone the other night, actually. That was really hard. It fell apart. I'm working on that. Um, I do love to make a pizza crust out of this as well. And I have that recipe on my uh, pinned to the top of my Facebook page. Uh, the Keto House page. So you can check that out. Okay, let's get the cheese. I'm going to stir it. It's a little bit warm. Okay, I'm going to put it back in for 30 seconds. And while that's going, We're going to do a cup and a half and okay. one tablespoon of baking powder 
and I kind of just mix it a little bit on top um, without touching the eggs. Okay, here is... We're good, we're good. <laughs> at, least the, at least the dishes are clean, okay? Not, yes, these are clean dishes. <laughs> they're not put away, but... Okay, so look, I'm going to show you why you need to just buy bowls. Right here, ready? There you go. That is not gonna happen if you use any other bowl. If you if it does happen, please let me know what your trick is on how to do that. Maybe it'll save you some money on these bowls, but it's worth every penny I spend on them right now. Come over here. I'm about done. Um, I'm gonna slide this off the hook. I don't put it on very long. Okay. This one came out pretty good. Look at that. It's pretty much ready to go. What would you relate that to as far as thickness and consistency? That's a little too hard of a question to be thrown at. <laughs> um, like, what do you mean? Like, is it peanut butter? Is oh. It... I don't know. I don't think I like that question. We'll come back to that question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go over here, and we are going to um, roll this out. This is um, a silicone baking sheet I use every day. That's why it's so stained. I love it. It's nonstick. It's amazing. And I keep my water slightly going so I can dip my hands in it because it gets sticky. So I'm just going to make six rolls. There you go. I'm going to do six because I'm going to save some to make pizza. And actually, the pizza crust recipe is technically different, but it's already made, and I don't want to make it again. So, it just makes it a little fluffier and thicker, but it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't seem to bother the children at all either. They absolutely love this bread. I can't say they loved it from the, be from the very beginning, um, but they do now. These are a little bigger than I make them, uh, but not much. I usually get eight good size. And with this one, well, I guess I did about right. Okay. Timer is about to go off. She's preparing with spatula and glove. Okay. Ready, set. Look at that. Perfect. This is perfect. Um, I would probably like it just a little more done because we just like the way it's a little crispy on the outside. Okay. I will put them on this rack to let cool. How See? long should they cool? They're so fluffy. Before you when they get that perfect crunch to them? Um, I don't know. I probably let them cool like five minutes and then I heat some butter up and I'll dip it in butter and that'll be like my lunch. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I leave them out for a little bit because I don't, I need them to cool down before I put them in a bag or, or they'll get kind of too soft. Um, but it doesn't matter because I do keep them in the refrigerator to last longer. Uh, because they'll go bad in about four days if you leave them out, even if they're bagged up, uh, they're fresh. So, um, there's no preservatives in these. <laughs> so, um, I, what, so what I'll end up doing, because I actually don't like them that soft, I will cut them, which I will show you, or, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But, I'll put them in the toaster oven for, um, just to toast them up and warm them up, and then they're pretty amazing. So, awesome. I will open this up after it cools down after five minutes and show you how pretty it is. Okay. So, 
I'm going to cut into the spread. Um, this is how I would cut into it if I was to make me a cheeseburger or a sandwich of some sort. So, ooh, it's still pretty warm. It's not, but there we go. It's still pretty warm, but look at that. And then I tear it up like this. If I was to make, um, it's still really warm, but it's good. Tastes amazing. Tastes so good. All right, babe, you wanna buy it? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Please share. This is the best fathead dough bread recipe. I guarantee it. And my process is the best. I think, anyway.